The Ceramonic WeTalk is a full duplex wireless intercom system for film crews and video productions. Up to 17 people can communicate in a maximum range of 400 meters on a 1.9 GHz frequency. The headsets can be switched on by pressing the power button. Once switched on, they will automatically pair within a few seconds. Besides a mute button, there is also a volume panel with plus and minus buttons. The remote devices don't have any labeling or different colors to tell them apart, but the master headset features a yellow label above the earpiece as well as a yellow background on the volume control. If the microphone is pulled up, it's muted, and to activate it, it needs to be pulled down. There's a confirmation sound signal to indicate the switch between those two modes and a visual change between a purple flashing light and a static blue light indicating the mic is turned on. While I personally prefer this over some other systems that even feature a voice that will talk each time the microphone is activated or muted, I would also like to see the option to have any kind of sound confirmation turned off completely. Although the devices for our tests are single ear headsets, Ceramonic offers dual ear ones as well. The advantage of having two earpieces is clearly the blocking out of other sounds, which can be useful on loud locations, but I personally prefer having only one, since I am still able to hear much better what's happening around me on set or on location. Although the master headset has a limit of being connected to a maximum of four remote headsets, the company offers a hub to be able to communicate with up to nine people and an extension to 17 people by physically linking two hubs. On our shoots and tests, the transmission range was reliable up to 220 meters to 290 meters outdoors and 60 to 180 meters indoors. As with most wireless systems, the signal reliability comes down to external factors such as electronic interference. That's why it's hard to really judge the transmission quality due to the lack of a clear line of sight on most filming locations. Sound quality is definitely one of the most important factors of any audio system. The audio quality is pretty good all in all, but voices can sound a bit dull over long distances. Even though volume can be subjective, I had no issues understanding the transmitted signal even in noisy locations. This is a recording of the master headset, so you can get an idea how the transmitted audio signal sounds like. When it comes to wearability, the headsets feel comfy and have a good form factor overall. It's worth mentioning though that the size is rather large compared to similar systems. The over earpiece has a soft leather-like cushion that feels comfortable on the ear. The pad on the opposite side features a thin silicon-like fabric. Judging the shape, size and wearability of the headset is certainly subjective since every head and ear is different. Although the headset looks rather large, it doesn't mean it's only designed for big heads. It's possible to wear the earpiece either on the left or right side since the microphone can be flipped either way. Unsurprisingly, most of the parts are made from plastic, which is common and usually not an issue since it keeps the weight down. With the battery inside, the headset comes in at a weight of almost 300 grams, which isn't super lightweight, but still light enough to wear it for a day of filming. The WeTalk series has their own battery type, which can be plugged into the side of the headset. While it's easy to remove the battery thanks to the dedicated button, I sometimes had to double check that it was properly plugged in when putting it back. While there is a dedicated charger for multiple batteries, the batteries can also be charged inside the headsets via USB-C. The battery of the remote headset lasts between 15 and 17 hours and the master's battery life depends on the amount of total units that are used. 
The WeTalk is a solid piece of technology which does exactly what it's supposed to. The signal is reliable in most filming locations and the sound quality is good overall. Even though it's not the most compact system, it's surprisingly comfortable to wear.